This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Pom Pom Parade. This design is stitched from edge to center and what we're going to do is we're going to start with one half of the design and basically what that is is it is a half circle that is filled with these uh, overlapping triangle shapes. So if you want to think about it as a half flower or a quarter flower in this situation we're just simply stitching into the space with this triangle arching these shapes around so that they fill and create a nice kind of circular shape with their petals overlapping and creating a space that uh, will really look a lot like a cheerleader's pom-pom is kind of the idea. You want to be careful about building up your thread. You're going to build up thread quite a bit right at that starting point and it's going to get quite dark right there and you might have trouble whenever you stitch down for the last few times uh, simply because the thread will get very very heavy so do be careful about that try not to build it up too much and play with stitching triangles of all different sizes into this area so you can see I'm just kind of layering many different sizes of triangles so it creates a really beautiful pom-pom shape now I'm going to travel stitch and create another quarter pom-pom and the reason I'm doing this is because uh, this design would actually be stitched out uh, in full if I had enough space if I was stitching let's say sashing rather than a block um, but I think this is instructive because if you hit a corner you're going to need to either cut a pom-pom in half or just stitch a quarter of it or uh, you know somehow figure out how to turn that corner in a way that's not clunky and works so this is really what the design will look like if you stitch it into a small uh, piece or if you if you happen to stitch it over a corner. So basically all I'm doing is I'm repeating what I did before, stitching these triangle shapes and overlapping them until they create that pretty quarter circle. Now I'm going to go to the opposite side, a travel stitched over here, and I'm going to stitch a full pom-pom so that way you can see what it looks like. Basically all it is is stitching first to center and then two side petals so that they branch out and make kind of a half circle shape on the surface of your quilt. And then once you get that kind of base laid out, then it's just simply a matter of overlapping. It's very, very easy. The, actually, the hardest part of this design is simply spacing and getting the pom-poms to work together. Uh, and the, really, the, honestly, I found the easiest way of managing that is to mark half circles on your quilt. Um, just use a very light marker and mark the half circle shape. Take your triangles to the edges of that half circle, and it should all work out beautifully. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Pom Pom Parade. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting, plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine, check out daystyledesigns.com.